So computer science is the study of computers, kind of obviously, what you can do with computers, but it's much more than that. It's about what's now being called computational thinking, which is what we have to do in almost all of our endeavours now, whether we're a scientist in biology or physics, or if we're doing social science or we're working with numbers, everybody has to think in a computational way because we've got so much data just to analyse stuff. Essentially, it's breaking down a task into subtasks and then breaking down those subtasks into more subtasks and thinking in that kind of computational way to achieve one's ends. In a computer science course, first you would have to learn how to program in much the same ways if you did an English literature course, you'd have to learn English, or if you did a French course, you'd have to learn French. So first you learn how to program, but then once you've done that sort of basic skill, you learn about algorithms, about data, about what information is, what computers can and what they can't do, so the limits of what computers can do. Well, depending on where you go, you'd learn about computer graphics, you'd learn about computer security, you'd learn about human computer interaction, you'd learn about how computers can learn from data, everything. So some of the products that have been done this year, we've had students look at some very, very mathematical algorithms, so almost like if you were doing a, a mathematics degree, and then they've implemented those algorithms on hardware, so that's almost like what you would do in an electronics degree, and then they've measured the power being consumed by those algorithms implemented in hardware, so that's almost like a physics degree, and then they've used the power analysis that's coming back from the chips, how much power they're consuming, to try and understand the security using very, very advanced statistics of what's going on. Undergraduate projects in, in computer science have maths, physics, electronics, statistics, you can have ones that involve social science, economics, basically computer science is everything.